name is uh, Inge Kechine Cherem. Um, I'm the program lead of uh, Engineering for Industry Training. And today we are at uh, Federal University of Technology over Actually, this week we've been at uh, Federal University of Technology over majorly in collaboration with the Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering. Now, we've come here to give the students and the lecturers uh, engineering skills, modern engineering skills. And we are doing that through our program, the flagship program of uh, CIC, where Clinton Innovation Center, which is uh, Engineering for Industry. My name is Chimere Okoko from Department of Mechanical Engineering, 300 level. And I'm here for a program that is organized by Clintona Innovation Center, where they are teaching us and they are trying to bridge the gap between what we learn in school, which is the theory part, and what the industry actually needs. And here, because we learn a lot of things in school, but not really what the industry needs. And because they have come here, they have organized this program to teach us a lot, such as product design and 3D printing and all that. And I'm really grateful that I came here because before now, I wasn't really interested in all these in product design and all that stuff, but now it has already piqued my interest and I'm looking forward to learning more. My name is Dr. Medukwe Razak Olawani from Energy Department. I read Ghostbusters this morning. Uh, this is the first time I read it and I was looking everywhere for it. It's, I think it's a very good step in the right direction, bringing engineering students and lecturers up to speed with current trends in uh, the world of work. My name is Obi Victor Arinze from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, final year, heating, ventilation and air conditioning option. And um, I'm here at Engineering for Industry. Um, it has been challenging because it's, you know, my initial mindset towards the industry that there are no jobs, this and that, but I'm now learning that there are jobs actually out there, but they are not qualified persons for that job. My name is um, Agbai Paul Igwe, 100 level Agric Engineering, Federal University of Technology, Oweri, Imo State. Today is the day two. Yesterday we learned about the interface, but today we learned about the 3D printing and 3D scanning. It's very fascinated about the scanning process where um, objects, yeah, human faces can be scanned and printed out looking exactly like them. That's very nice. My name is uh, Uchem Vincent Ifain um, from the Department of Mechatronics Engineering, uh, School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Federal University of Technology, over in most states. Designed the bottle water, printed it out. It was, it was really interesting. My name is Oniso Tikiluba Olushegu from Federal University of Technology, Uwe, Tionde Mechanical Engineering. I've learned how to draw um, actual objects on my Autodex Inventor. This is the three, and we thought about laser scanning and laser cutting. My name is Mbajaka Joseph, and I'm one of the instructors for the Engineering for Industry program. The fourth day, they were taught engineering safety. They got to understand the different safety principles. They got to understand personal protective equipments that are necessary in the industry. And they got different safety training, including fire prevention, safety, and basic first aid. Part of our curriculum requires that engineering students should have hands-on experience of most of the things we teach theoretically. But most of the times, due to the lack of facilities, only few of them are able to practically produce what they have been taught. But we are happy to have we are happy to have this training in our school, where most of our lecturers participated and sit as well. We have a total of about nine schools in the school of most of the lecturers and students all participated in this training program. Hey, 
Hello everyone, I am Bukwebina Franklin, 400 level student of mechanical engineering and I major in industrial and production engineering. Okay. So I'm actually a CAD CAM enthusiast. CAD CAM has actually gone a long way in reducing cost of manufacturing, cost of production, and also in making sure that our um, engineering output is, is quite efficient. With more people that have knowledge of CAD CAM, we could be able to do better as engineers and also produce better engineers with um, adequate skills that could handle upcoming challenges as regards to engineering. My name is uh, Engineer Professor Neuchi Agoma of the Department of Mechanical Engineering Federal University of Technology. Well, I like the program. Some most of the students are quite interested. When we went to school, it was four of you to a machine. But here, you see 50 people crowded over a machine. Now will they learn? Now they get experience. There has to be a reduction in theory, serious reduction in the amount of theory. And it can also be taught the hands-on from beginning to the end so that they'll be fully trained and equipped um, engineers. Hello, my name is Ibeka St. James Ebuchi. I'm here at the Federal University of Technology, Owere. It has been a great experience as the instructor of 3D printing and 3D scanning, a hands-on training. So we've had some students, so many students actually, who have been attesting to the benefits of the program. Some are saying this is their first time of having a hands-on training since they were in school under engineering. Some are saying that the training is really, have really blown their mind with the machines that we've brought here. The goal of engineering for industry uh, is to bridge the gap between the skill gap between engineering education and the industry. We want to make sure that our students, our graduates, and even lecturers are equipped with modern skills of engineering. Uh, originally, we, we are thinking that this training will be meant for maybe 40 to 50 persons, but uh, day one, we had over 78 persons in attendance, both lecturers and students. We had a breakout session where we uh, encouraged students. We challenged them to come up with designs, and those designs will be 3D printed, and uh, it's, it's been done in the school right now. Now, over this, it's also important to know that uh, we are going to donate to the school a 3D printing machine, a, pro a fast prototyping machine that students and lecturers as well we use in practice. Thank you, uh, Raya Academy of Engineering, for such an opportunity to do this. Thank you, Engineering X, for the support that you have given to Engineering for Industry in Nigeria. And thank you, CIC, for making it possible for us to come here and do this impactful session. It's been an amazing week long experience here in Federal University of Technology. Uh, thank you.